Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Happy Equinox, and today we've got a look at space weather. We'll check out the new mineral mapping mission from NASA, and we'll go over the changes in Earth's magnetic field over the last decade with visuals. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find things were extremely quiet. No significant flares or eruptive events. We do still expect that within 36 hours we'll take the coronal whole solar wind stream and minor geomagnetic storm conditions. We'll be watching for that, and the sunspots will be monitored as well. Couple groups growing, some departing, few more incoming, all in the mild to moderate flare risk range right now. Eyes open for their development in these sunspot groups. Up next, folks, we're heading to the Critical Mineral Mapping Mission. Using special sensors, they can now better detect what's in the ground with remote sensing than they ever have been able to before. It used to be that broad, non-specific data was available from the sky. Details were only found from ground coring, hands-on. Now, nearly that same level of detail is possible from the sky and over a huge area. But our top story today is this, the changes in Earth's magnetic field over the last 11 years. Shocker, the weakening of the planetary shield has continued. We'll begin at the north as magnetic north is moving towards Siberia. The flux lobe there gets a touch stronger while the field over the Americas weakens considerably. You can see the brightest yellow disappears from the left to the right side there. The weak area in dark colors here has expanded in the South Atlantic. The South Atlantic anomaly has both grown and deepened its weakness, and you can also spot that in this view. Darkest patch has increased in size by about 50%. Taking a three-year gap between views, we can see that the 2024 bottom right has the lightest colors, especially in the Pacific, indicating that the crustal fields are weakening in addition to the core field. Folks, we are still on the collapsing downward spiral and still almost nobody cares we are in the middle of a magnetic pole shift. We had the pole shift conference yesterday and that was epic at Observer Ranch. Dr. Dunning is coming in this week for founders events. We have a world-class prepper event to kick off October. The Colorado Prepper Expo is the next weekend. The experience the weekend after that Go ahead and bring the kids out for Halloween. That's going to be fun. We've got the ultimate self-defense training kicking off November. Observer speed dating the 7th and 8th. Documentary premiere mid-November and the last pole shift conference of the year the day after that. We've got Thanksgiving and a solstice party as well probably. Come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.